in and begin to prep the nail. Get everything forced back nice and clean. Hi from the promised land, thanks for joining us today. And then we're going to use the Russian manicure drill bit set to begin to prep the nail. I'm going to use this little one that looks like a little football. Jerry McGill said, finally get to wash Oh, awesome. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate that. Right, so make sure that we get rid of any lifting. Especially right there, we should have a little crack. And then we're going to remove the dust. And we're going to do one coat of nail prep and one coat of primer. Yeah, I'm going to be gone for nine days or so. I'm going to be going to South Korea to get my deviated septum fix. So I can finally breathe properly. It's really killing me having to wake up in the middle of the night and drink water, especially because the air is so dry here in Arizona, that when I sleep with my mouth open, it is just the worst. It irritates the whole roof of my mouth. So we're going to use from the neon gold in the dark acrylic, we're going to use the purple one. Let's try to get to 100, you guys. We're a quarter of the way there. And we're gonna be using Fast Set Pink Magic Polymer, which is not pink anymore, it's purple. It's been like that for going on three years now. And we're gonna use our coconut brush. This thing has a mind of wrong. There we go. And one more small bit. Right here in the middle. Beautiful. And then we're going to overlay the entire nail in Racer Clear, which is my favorite acrylic ever to work with because it dries so fast, especially when you're doing one nail or a demo. When you're in the salon and you're doing all 10, it's not that obvious, the, the drying time. But when you're doing just one or a demo, it, it feels like it takes forever. So with Racer Clear, literally slap it on and you're done. It's 50% is the product, which we are only using the best, which is enocouture.com. And the other 50% is skill. And I've been doing this like going on like 22 years now, so I've got a lot of practice. Remember, the acrylic does the work for you. Side, side, center. I'm really looking forward to having good Puerto Rican food while we're down in uh, Florida because we have not, we don't have any good Puerto Rican food here in Tucson or Cuban. like Cuban food or if you like Puerto Rican food let me know in the comments below there's one Cuban I think it's like a breakfast dish I really want to try it's called harina frita or maiz frito let me see if I can find it I was watching a video on how to make it and I was like that looks really interesting
Yes, Moripo, Puerto Rican food is so good. I make it all the time. Some arroz con gandules, some hongos, some lechon. Yuca frita. And it just goes on and on. So right now we're just waiting for the nail to dry. She's just blowing it. Because remember, the hotter it is, the faster the acrylic dries. The colder it is, the slower it dries. Pasteles, bacalao, mofongo. You need to stop. That sounds delicious. I can't remember the name of the other one. That's like a, it's almost like a potato, like a sweet potato. And you have it like in a soup dish. And it's kind of, I want to say lavender. Bacalao. Almost. And the hotel that we stay at in Orlando is walking distance, one of the best Puerto Rican restaurants in all of Orlando. Hello from North Carolina. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget that we have our Halloween sale going on right now. Use promo code HALLOWEEN22 to save 22% off your entire purchase. Now we're going to begin to shape the phalange. Saludos desde Chicago, un besote. We're going to use the power top bits. They also have really good um, Venezuelan food in Florida. Tú a ti no te tocó comer comida venezolana cuando fuimos a Orlando, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, isn't bubble gum jelly incredible? I ordered the one to do that's why she's a game changer, number one, hands down, vegan. Yes, we do have a vegan series of brushes. Explain what, my love? Then we're gonna go in with the pink carrot. Refine everything, make sure we get rid of any scratches. The difference between what? Vegan is synthetic, and a brush that it's Kalinsky is made from animal hair. So we have both options on the website. We have the option for you to choose a brush that is made with non-animal products, and we have the option to use a Kalinsky brush, which is the traditional um, method of brush making using the tail of the male Kalinsky. And vegan uh, or synthetic materials have come a long way for what they used to be a while ago, so we really pride ourselves in making a really great synthetic material that is really hard to tell the difference because it's made with actual um, the weave that we use is uh, the same that is used for lace front extensions. It's just a coarser hair in order for it to be able to hold its shape when you're sculpting. So now I'm going in with the softer file to bevel out the C curve, make everything nice and even. So some people like brushes that are uh, made with non-animal products, other people don't mind. So it really comes down to personal choice. And for us as a company, it's really important to have both of those options for everybody to choose from. There is no, I've heard somebody saying that their brush was uh, harvested humanely, which is a lie. There's no such thing as a humane way of harvesting um, hair for any kind of, or fur 
for any kind of uh, purpose, whether it be for makeup brushes, nail brushes, art brushes, whatever. They have to uh, kill the animal and then remove its tail. So if someone says, oh, this animal, uh, the hair was cut off, it's impossible. You can't cut the hair off the tail of the animal once it's alive. You're dealing with a wild weasel, basically, because that's what a Kalinsky is. I thought it was preposterous, because this is coming from somebody who's been selling our parts for a really long time. Here I am ranting. So you have this animal with a, a weasel with a long tail. How are you going to sit there and cut its hair one by one? And you have to pull the hair all the way from the root. Why? Because you need the whole length of the hair. If you cut the hair, it will be blunt and you will lose the natural taper that the uh, hair has that you want for when you're sculpting. So I have my black painting gel inside my tiara palette ready to go. And we're going to do just a little bit of abstract work just to dress it up. You're welcome. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bake that now. And then if you want your brush to have a really beautiful shape, the secret is you actually take primer and you're going to put it on the tip of the brush and it will give it a really sharp, beautiful shape. At least 30 seconds. 30? Yeah, so that way the black dries all the way through. Because it's so pigmented, you want to make sure it dries properly. And then we're going to do a coat of opal shiny on the whole nail. ¿Vas a creer sticker en esto o no? I'm going to do a coat of opal shiny on the whole man. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bake that. 30 seconds. Thank you. So a nice even coat of velvet over the entire nail surface to get everything nice and matte. If there is any part of the nail that you miss with the matte gel, it will be shiny and that's what we don't want. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and bake that for one minute. And while that's baking, I'm actually going to turn off the light of the office so that way you can see them glow in the dark. Victor! Oh, I was going to tell your dad, but Rampus, can you turn off the office light? Yeah. No, the whole office. No, no, the office. No, you can leave yours on. Dale vuelta ahí para que se apague. No. 
Si tiene uno chiquito. Can you turn these off? Now you can take it out. Yes. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. And then let's get the light. Then go to the dark. Ooh, magic. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. That's right. Instant night light. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo with our new glow in the dark neon acrylics. And what can I say? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to take advantage of that Halloween sale going on right now. And we will see you guys Monday in the next live demo. Bye, everybody.